Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where it has been so long I thought I'd show you Lenry. Um, poor little guy. He's been orbit around he's been in orbit around this rock that we call the Mun for an awful long time now. Uh, so much so that I oh wait, it's because it's type excited that I seem to be have no control and stuff. In fact I still seem to have no control. Uh, speed is down. Oh well, who who knows what's wrong there? Um, but th he's the guy we need to uh, to to come and get. Um, he's still got more than enough EVA fuel to be able to sort stuff out when his ship does indeed get there. And I really wish I could turn him around to face the sun so we could see what's actually going on with him. Because look, isn't that a great view? Um, why why can't I control him? Why can I not control him? Um, Alright, well anyway, let's get back to um, the, blah, 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 the space center and we'll see what we can spend all that tasty tasty science points that Bill, Bob, Bob, Bob managed to get on his sky car trip to Minmus. Um, so down here we've got the, 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 the science bay and straight away in this one I'd noticed this little probe body here which should actually fit in line with um, Lenry's new ship. Uh, <clears throat> a few things to talk about elsewise. Uh, my computer blew up over Christmas. That's that's why that's why I'm still here doing this same stuff. I should be like so much further through this, but I'm not um, because my computer blew up. Um, so yeah, let's get some some big rocket parts as well, so we can make some decent sized land uh, lifters. Oh, it's a skipper and a decent sized thing. Right, let's get uh, let's get the decent sized fuel land engines. Um, Right, and now we're just going to have a bit of a look through and see what else we want. I've got, oh, enough for two more of this tier of of stuff. Um, I would quite like the Delta Wing um, at the same time. Uh, there's a lot of other, maybe some, some tidy, tiny radial probes. Oh, more science. More science is a must. Okay, well, let's do the more science. But on. Uh, also, landing legs and stuff. Uh, not landing legs, uh, ladders and stuff. And then, ooh, tiny stuff, more stuff for the plane. Oh, pig face pod. Should we do pig face pod? I don't know, yeah, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna get pig face pod, but we're not gonna use him today. Ah, oh, 144 science. All right, well, we're a little bit short of pig face pod, but let's go and see what we were doing in here. Uh, now we have the loading screen of death as we watch it slowly tick round. Ah, now in here I should, as long as nothing got corrupted. Yeah, my uh, my PSU blew up and it sent a, a spark out the front of my machine and it literally tried to have me and I was so scared that everything had been lost. Uh, as it turned out, all it done was uh, blow up my CMOS battery, which on the grand scheme of things, I'm quite happy that that was it, you know, if, if that was the, the price of it. All right, this is the bad boy that we're trying to get into space. There's been a few tweaks since uh, since the Keythane Hunter one, obviously. Um, main one being this fuel tank here so that we can convert from the Keythane to the fuel and then pump back because last time we couldn't do that and that's why we ran out of fuel on the moon and that's why Lenry's in orbit just to remind everyone where we're at. Uh, so we want to try and fit this bad boy in somehow. Oh, now to me it looks like it should go in here. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can pop that in. Looks a bit wobbly, doesn't it? Looks a bit wobbly. Let's put a couple of supports in. Uh, and hopefully there won't be too many bits that, you know, we're trying to trying to break it all. Um, I don't think four is right. I think we should go with the six because, you know, that's that's the, the, the symmetry we've been rocking recently. No, it doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like that? All right, get up under there. Go hard, you can do it. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to connect these two things together. Is it because I'm inside? There we go. Alright, so that one goes that way, and then for extra support, we'll put that one down here. Right, and that should hopefully be, like, ridiculously supportive, yeah? 
Yeah, maybe. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to build a launcher for it and I'll meet you at the end of this because you don't want to watch me just throw fuel tanks and big engines underneath this. That would be really boring. We're the bouncer and a bonk. We have to go. Jeb, get out of this fucking ship. No one likes you. I don't... Ugh. This is why no one likes you, rather. Bam. Like, everyone's going on about how Jeb is such a great pilot and how he saved the, the, the space program. Rah, 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 rah. That's only because he won't let anyone practice. I mean, there's other pilots in this space program, you know? Yeah, pilots. We're going to just go with pilots this time. So we're going to um, sit Jeb right by this exhaust vent and see if it kills him or not. Uh, hopefully not, because whilst I dislike him, and as I dislike quite a lot of people, I don't want to actually kill him. Um, so with bearing that in mind, we're going to see if the moon's in view. No, it's not. So we're going to shoot for orbit. All right, and in three, two, one, blast off. And there we go, the Keithane Hunter 2, rising majestically like a brick through treacle. Ah, oh, seriously guys, this is taking, Oh, 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 I gave it a wobble. Oh no guys, oh, oh no. All right, let's just go with that sort of trajectory there. That, that, that's gonna work, right? That's got to work, yeah? Yeah, well, we're, we're up at nearly a kilometer and we've not blown up, so you know, here, here's, a, here's a small bonus. Um, cool and we're about to break the 100 meters per second mark i am slightly worried about what's going to happen when these solid fuel boosters run out uh so have a look at the launch stage we've got um oh wow uh 612 12 solid fuel boosters on this um as well as six seven skipper engines and an awful lot of fuel tanks and now that i look at it it might be too many fuel tanks for the number of engines that i've put on as demonstrated by the way that my velocity is now plummeting back down but you know hopefully we'll start running out of fuel quick enough i mean this this is this is starting to ease back down i mean we've we've got air resistance to worry about as well so we don't want to we don't want to be punching through too quick do we yeah in fact i planned this yeah i i 100 percent planned to, to have just enough fuel to, to to not make it so that we were too heavy no to make it so we're too heavy so we're not go, cutting through the the sky too quickly and therefore not wasting fuel yeah that sounds plausible right <laughs> okay so first staging went well uh we're just about to punch uh the second staging about to hit that 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 tricky 150 meters per second where air resistance does become a bit of an issue i only know that figure off of scott manley's videos though i've got to say i'm, I'm not i can't say i've sat and worked out the uh the maths behind that to be honest i don't even know what my surface area would be on this vessel um big I'm going with big. Uh, right, so we're at 13 kilometers. Do you think we should probably start turning over a little bit? Now, this is one of, one of my problems. Um, let's, let's talk about the problems uh, that, that, that Twitchy has with Kerbal Space Program. Like, I have a whole, bo a whole list of like generic procedures, if you will. Things along the lines of, at 10 kilometers, turn over to about 45 degrees. Now, I know that roughly that works for most things, but when we're talking efficient stuff, efficient mission planning, I'd, I'd like to know a bit more than that. You know, like even if it breaks it into two two clumps of big rockets and little rockets, I mean that'd still be more. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is more more, more customized, more specific to the job in hand. And we I may have turned over a little bit too much. Look at the, look at that orbital vector or whatever prograde marker. Um, we want it above 90 degrees. So I think. Do you think? I think. Um, mainly so that we can look at the orbital map and know that this is going up constantly. Let's get rid of that key thing grid. We don't need that. Um, our apparatus time is staying. Oh, it's going up to 26, 27 seconds. That's good. That that is a surefire sign that we've got a good, uh, good approach, good trajectory, good good 
good plan. Yeah, what well, I wish oh, I wish I knew more more rocket terminology. Like I like rockets. I like rockets a lot. I watch NASA TV. You know, I I, I follow the launches of stuff. I have no idea what the correct terminology is for anything, though. Um, <laughs> right, so 33 kilometers. It's about time that we're looking at um, turning over. No, no, maybe not. I like this to get up to something along the lines of quite high before we, we start leaning over. It's just so we can get up through the atmosphere before we start going across the atmosphere. So like air resistance is as low as possible for as much as possible. Uh, that said, according to my uh, aerometer at the top here, yep, that's what we've just called it. Um, we are coming through the thinner stuff, so let's let's lean it over this way. Lent over. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Turn S A off. Off. S S S A I S off. Oh, I cannot speak today. And we'll we'll leave my my inclination. No, inclination is the tilt of the circle. We'll leave my pitch at about this. Oh, in fact, stop. Wow, we don't. I don't really like going above a hundred meters, a uh, hundred kilometers on this particular move. So I'm gonna throw this over this way, oh, thrust up a little bit more, so we have the gimballing to point us in a direction, and then point at the horizon because the horizon is always the point where you can get most uh, speed, most horizontal speed. Uh, at least this is what I have discovered whilst playing around. But you know, I'm not exactly a rocket scientist though I do do a lot of rocket science even though the police told me I'm not allowed to do that anymore <laughs> anyway so we're halfway up to orbital velocity now and we've got an awful lot of fuel on board this entire four fuel tank and a skipper segment um, is coming to the moon with us it seems which would be nice um, 96 oh oh wait we should we should stop wait until we get up to the apple apps and then try and circularize the burn awesome not so cir circularize the orbit with a circularizing burn uh point towards the blue twiddlies i like my twiddlies um of course we're only dealing with inertia at the moment so let's use some rcs it's what I put it on the ship for after all. Turn that off, turn that on. Uh, we need a two minute burn and we're 30 seconds away from the node. So let's just uh, slam that into full drive there. And wait. And wait. And wait some more. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Um, nice and circular ish oh no no that's not let's put that back up uh for the 60 70 we need to get this above oh i believe 80 odd was the top of the uh the atmosphere right so there we go now that we're safe enough not to go crashing back oh, i feel like i could just like carry on uh boosting through but that's not overly efficient what we want is uh to start burning somewhere about here no not not a jeb jeb you're always in the way go away jeb right uh hopefully oh look perfect transfer orbit right there and we come down to about that that gives us a good cushion of uh either not accelerating enough or ex over accelerating and that will put us in a good good orbit whichever way we do for that because you know i'm not going to get it bang on of course i'm not going to get it bang on it never make it bang on uh, right so let's try and point towards the node and then we can oh excuse me then we can accelerate uh, time to the right point 31 minutes from now oh the problem with these long ships is they don't half wobble a lot when you only power them from one side with RCS because you forgot to put thrusters down the bottom of the big rocket uh, which is something I do quite a lot and you'd have thought that would have been something that I would have uh, learned to deal with but as it turns out, I don't learn from my mistakes. Which, you know, I, I should imagine makes quite funny videos. It's a little bit annoying when you're the person making the mistakes, though. Uh, right, so, ripping round at the maximum time warp we are allowed. It's not much. 
Um, and thank, hopefully we won't be on the night side this time. Uh, this is this is one mistake that I am trying to rectify. Uh, I, I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Oh wow, we've got our lights on and, and the pro bodies on. But we have an awful lot of battery power, so it should be alright. Um, so we're going for a minute burn, so if we look at about 30 seconds before the node, so let's start slowing down. There we go. Uh, we're on times 5 at the moment, let's remember to uh, turn that off when we get even closer. It's a beautiful view of the desert there. Uh, and about 38 seconds, sounds like a good time to start boosting sounds like the best time to start boosting all right awesome 600 meters per second delta v to be expended thankfully as i said this is an awful bit awful awful big awfully big um fuel tank with a rocket um i'm starting to grow to like the skippers i mean they're they're not main sails let's be honest they're, they're not but they definitely do 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 the job do do um, Alright, so we're halfway through the burn. I, I'm looking at all the different things that I can do with the skipper. Um, it, it's quite good. What's the, what, what unit is this fuel flow in? You. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to have to check up on the wiki and, uh, and have a read. I do like to know these things. At least I can sound like, what I'm uh, sound like I know what I'm going on about when I'm like, Ah, oh, these numbers here. But... <laughs> Okay, and that's almost a perfect 50-50 on either side burn. I'm impressed with myself. The finished at 30 seconds, started at 38 seconds. So, uh, yeah. Uh, well, minus and plus, obviously. Uh, right, and I'm probably going to shut up for a little bit whilst we just make the nice transfer orbit to the moon. Was it? Oh, I've not burnt for enough, have I? Orbital manoeuvre. You lied. Let's throttle up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Just the job. Awesome. Alright, so we're now going to push on up to uh, double speed. I wish I could go faster for you guys, but it then like munges up my audio and takes it away from me. So unfortunately we're going to have to go with a slightly longer than normal uh, video. Um, at, during this time I can demonstrate the massive amounts of solar panels I put on this. This is mainly for uh, processing Keythane, because uh, Keythane is a power hungry process it turns out as it should be you know it's like creating fuel out of the rocks you find on the moon um, or Minmus or in fact anywhere I mean that's the glory of Keithane it is all over the place perhaps a little bit overpowered for that very reason but yeah, I like it um, and I do remember reading somewhere on the forum or something that this is the kind of thing that the uh, that squad are actually going to put in in the end there was something about like making fuel from like anywhere you find so you end up not being stranded um all right so we, we're coming on up to the moon and i'm like all right where should we uh, be setting my my maneuvers uh and i thought whilst i was uh decelerating into a or accelerating into a uh, a, a circular orbit around the moon we could uh try and incline our orbit to the same as lenry's just to just to get us a little bit closer uh and then i have this this mammoth task of turning this ship round. To be honest, that is almost the entirety of what I did during this mission was just waiting for this beast to turn. What I should have done was dump this massive fuel tank a lot earlier on, but it was a massive fuel tank and I just couldn't bring myself to dump it. I mean, there's only a limited amount of fuel on Kerbin, surely. Uh, in fact, surely Kerbin must be facing a bit of a, uh, a, a fossil fuel crisis at this point in time. Uh, thousands of missions being launched every day, uh, all of them coming up with quite a lot of fuel. And even if the, 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 the whole of Kerbin was just like solid fuel, solid liquid fuel, entirely liquid fuel, let's put, let's check in that language, right? Uh, even if that, Surely they would have run out by now. I mean, there's only my man here, Lenry, going out and doing the Keythane run. So surely the, surely Jeb, just Jeb alone, the selfish, fuel-guzzling, jump-in-the-cockpit-first type person that he is, would have eaten through at least half of Kerbal... Kerbin... Kerbin's? 
um, fuel supplies. But anyway, going for a uh, uh, an injection burn. Um, not a very exact one, it turns out. As I was just like, ah, burn it down. I mean, what we're we gonna do? We're, we're, ju we're just like reducing our, our velocity. That's not difficult. Um, I then decide that maybe it's best if I do all this maneuvering on the light side, so I make a maneuver note on the dark side. See, learning from my mistakes. I can do this when I think about it and write down notes on bits of paper and, and stuff like this. <laughs> and then once again, start turning the graceful ballet of a stick in, stick in orbit. And thus begins the epicness that is trying to rendezvous up with um, a Kerb Kerbal in a spacesuit flying around the moon. Um, there is a lot of tweaking and a lot of back and forth thing in this process from now on. But that gives me ample opportunity to talk to you guys about mods. Now obviously I'm running um, Keythane at the moment, but... and and. This is not to say that I don't like Kerbal, Kerbal Space Program the way it is, but there's a few mods that I think I myself could benefit from quite a lot. Uh, the first one obviously being the uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock, uh, mainly so that I don't go flying past my maneuver nodes anymore, because I have a very impatient man, I'm, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, and normally I hit the time acceleration, and before I know what's going on, I've gone past my maneuver node. Um, in fact, that's probably no, that didn't happen this time. But if you watch my maneuvers f through these next few, I could have, I could have made a much better rendez rendezvous a lot quicker. Well, as it turns out, I couldn't have done a better rendezvous, but we'll talk about that when it happens. But I could have done it a lot quicker if I'd just been more on the ball about where I am with my maneuver node instead of going like seconds past it all the time. Um, I'd also like to get some sort of uh, on-screen representation of some of the basic orbital um, figures. Like I'd like to know where my Apple apps is when I'm taking off. So I don't have to keep flicking back and forth between the, men, uh, between the map to know that whether I'm in orbit or not. Um, that's that's my aesthetic choice. Uh, I, I would much rather watch my, my vessel like curve up in a graceful arc and know that my Apple apps is like 100 kilometers and then cut my engines without having to check the map. I think it would make a much better video. <coughs> uh, beyond that, I'm not sure what else I want to put on. And uh, this is where I kind of open it up to you guys and go, hey, what, what, what mods do you think are great? I'm not looking for cheaty parts. Uh, I also will consider the infernal robotics I, I really quite enjoyed last time i was playing with that but i've not had it on since like 1.8 or uh, 0.18 or something like that um where i made a, a claw ship a type scorpion i called it um but yeah that that was part of my cleanup crew which is definitely something i intend to do again because i've got a lot of debris in my system now and whilst it's fairly easy just to go terminate flight there's no one I do. I, I want to get up. I want to get a ship. I want to grapple on, push it down into a, into a decelerated orbit, and and let it let it smash into the ground. Because uh, it just sounds like more fun, doesn't it? it? Sounds like more fun to me. All right. So as you can see here, my maneuver nodes, are, not my maneuver nodes, my encounter nodes are pretty close. Um, and I'm like, okay, let's just kind of. Oh, I can't remember. Am I inclining my orbit here or am I... Uh, but yeah, no, this is my incl inclination orbit burn. Uh, try and get me into the the correct coplanar orbit with Lenry so that we can start, like, finessing. Um, and glory of glories, I didn't go ripping past my manoeuvre node, so I actually managed to, to get down quite, quite well. I think I managed to... I didn't end up with a completely coplanar orbit. Um, that's because this ship is just so bulky. But yeah, I'll let me in a second explain all that. Right, well I think the time has come with how hideously unaccurate or uh, unfinessy this ship is to uh, say goodbye to that particular section. We will send a clean-up crew out to come and grab, grab this at some point. But now we're in a much more manoeuvrable pod. We should hopefully be able to uh, synchronise our orbits up with Lenry a whole lot better. Because uh, you may have... Well, you, you should hopefully have just watched me do all this little bits of, uh, of, of finessing and stuff. And it's just its not quite as good as it could be, right? I mean, we're down at zero... 0, 01 degrees inclination and that's pretty good um, now what we want to do is try and hopefully bring these orbits closer together which which way do you reckon I've got to do them I 
burn like that. That would be ideal. There we go. And that brings us to 1.3 kilometers away from each other. Right, so now we've got a couple of seconds to turn this ship round. Uh, thankfully, nowhere near as a laborious task as turning the big one round was. I've got a feeling I should have gone the other way on my manoeuvre node though. That would have saved me more fuel overall. Can we can we go this way? We can, there we go. Look. Because I'm going to have to bring the Apple apps down anyway. So if I'm braking rather than accelerating. Can I do that? How many times around can I do that? Bring us to almost an exact orbit. Ooh, yeah, 21. That's fine. Let's, let's try with that and see what happens. 0 0.8. That's that's pretty close let's let's just a little push more 7.4 ah i'm gonna be knocking it back and forth now trying to find the right one 5.8 5 is pretty good though i'd much rather bring it down lower but with our periaps that low down we're not going to be really be able to do that so let's just bring it to a very close can i click that and make it stay up oh, 0.6 oh sh sugar i've already gone past the uh, the maneuver node so if we just find out where it is and hopefully break our way down to a close encounter of the kerbal kind um right so accelerating well beyond the point i wanted to be doing this but as long as i just keep pointed at this node it should be all right right that's how it works yeah Something like that. That was, that was far beyond where I wanted to go, but... That's pretty close. I think at the other side here, I'm going to have to... How can, how can I get rid of this for a second? There we go. Let's pop that out there. I think we're going to have to just slightly push this back up so we're not crashing into the moon. And then we'll finesse the orbit a little bit more on the other side. And hopefully get really close to Lenry because the closer we are the less mucking about we need to do with his jetpack um, and whilst you know mucking about with the jetpack is fun possibly not the best but ah look at that I just completely boosted all the way past it I'm, I'm good at this game <laughs> plus I think I may have turned down my, my, my ship's engines a little bit too much I can't can't hear them and you know a little bit of uh, engine noise as a as a certain ambience. Oh well, that 24 meters is quite close. I wonder if I can get any closer. If I boost, does it get further away? Okay. So let's try. As we're here and we're drifting in space, it's worth just seeing if we can bring this a little closer just from because like this is the point where no, it's most efficient right if I, the furthest as far away the furthest point you are from the orbit the better it can be affected yeah six five four three that, that oh, oh i went a little bit too far but they're pretty close pretty close indeed got a nine and a two. Oh, a two's good that's getting worse though right okay all right Perhaps when we're here, we should bring the orbits down. Add maneuver. No. Add maneuver. We should bring them down to meet each other. And hopefully, somewhere there, we can get a really close. 15 and 2. 13. Am I crashing into the, s the floor yet? Alright, let, let's do that. That's pretty close. Um, spin round to find the maneuver node. So two kilometers and 15 kilometers. That should be enough that I can um, putt putt around on my jetpack. Yeah, putt putt, like. Um, and hopefully get a nice close approach. Oh, it's nice that I've been able to do most of this in the light. Uh, it's uh, very rare. It's a nice shot, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's, let's get a screenshot of that. Ding. Awesome. Maybe turn the ship round so we can see what's going on. Uh, I should probably point out that this little unit at the back here is the one doing all the work. 
Uh, I'd like this to, these fuel tanks to be full for my next approach on a landing, so uh, yeah, I, I, I stuck this little thing on the end of the, the launch stage. Ah, and already this this manoeuvring lark around the moon is taking a lot longer than I expected it to. It's kind of expected to turn up, be like bash. Because um, I'm quite quite practiced at this now. Uh, I just seem to be uh, doing things like that all the time. Which brings me to the point of Kerbal alarm clock. I think I might install that on 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 this um, so that I don't miss my manoeuvres. So that it stops me going. Stop it! You pressed that button too many times and now you've warped pa well past it. It might help, might not, who knows. Let's check my let's check my orbital map, see what's going on. Ah, why do I not have Lenry as a target? What's going on? Look, there he is. He's, he's like... So close. He's like hundreds of metres close. We should, um... We should get the target up and, and bring our... Look at that, he's right there. He's, he's literally right there. Oh, wow, without even realizing it. Um, okay, so let, let's let's fire these engines. Well, I am firing these engines. Right, I brought our velocities down and in line with each other. 700 meters, can we use Lenry or should I use this? Let's use this. Let's start boosting towards him ever so slowly. And that should bring us towards him about a meter per second, according to this. I don't know, it seems a bit... Seems a bit sus. Let's pop over to him. Hello, Lenry. Brave Kerbal. That's where we're headed. Oh, that that's another screenshot opportunity. Bam, done. Right, let's turn him around. And, oh, 700 meters. It's a long way to go. Hopefully we get, oh, I don't have a, uh, a nav ball. Well, obviously I don't have a nav ball. Um, it's a little bit annoying. So I don't know where, where the center note point is. Like if I'm doing this, am I going over the top? Am I going underneath? I have pushed it a couple of times now. It might be too much. Let's switch back over here and be like, hey, ooh, ah. Lenry's my target. We're coming in at 11. Let's put my RCS on. Um, if all else fails, use the RCS to like break my, like break my target speed. Though 11 meters per second, that's that's a pretty good, good speed to be coming in at. Oh, I feel all flustered. I wasn't ready for this maneuver yet. I was still just aligning my orbits. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so at 200 meters, 100 meters. Maybe it's time to start uh, backing off on the RCS. Oh, it doesn't look like I can. All right, we're going to have to use Lenry then. Uh, slow down. Slow down. And go down. Right, okay. I think... I think I may have it, mate, guys. I think I might actually be just drifting towards my new ship. Yay, Lenry. Best space astronaut in the academy. Stuff Jeb. Jeb's just a glory hogging bad man. Bad man. Oh. And then with all the grace of a ballet dancer on ice skates, I think we're in. I see the shadow on the cockpit. Mmm, cockpit. Nope. Oh, I grabbed it and let go. Lenry, you fool. <laughs> Can we board? Can we board? Just give me a board. There we go. But Oh wow! Oh right. Well, I'm sure I've been recording for a very long time now, guys. So I would like to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. It has been a bit more awkward than I thought it was going to be, and it ended up with some very nice scenic shots like this. This is nice. Uh, let's do that and do that be like 10 yeah screenshots all right yeah well thank you very much for joining me for this adventure guys i will see you next time and bye bye <laughs>